Welcome everyone to Ruff's Race Up, our second week of filming here. As um, as we bring you to the studio, you might notice we are we have new pictures behind this, and we are going to try updating these pictures with stuff from each race weekend every week as much as possible. In this picture, we have one of our Reds interviewers interviewing Kristen Nass Herzog, and in this picture, one of our photographers took a picture of Dar's pit crew. With any, without, with that being said, let's get to the show. As always, I'm Zach, your host. Introduce yourself. I'm your co-host, Chris. I'm Brian, your host. And I'm Derek, your anchor. And we are glad that you joined us on this fine evening, Monday night. We will have our shows either on Tuesday or Monday night. And we'll try to do it each week, so... Let's get into our first stories. We're going to talk about the IndyCar finish for this weekend at Michigan. So, it only provided one lap of recording, but we do, we, John and Dar, Derek and me were there to see the finish. So, obviously, Red won the race. Pavel finished P2. I believe Ashton, who's P3. And Nass finished P4. Nass left early with engine problems, and then Wow finished P5 after he just parked it himself. But that is your results of the race. So, let's uh, with that being said, let's just um, let's ask Derek what he thought about that finish to the race and the entire race itself. Looks like Derek's might be a little bit broken. Let's go over to John on the other side of the table. John, what was your thoughts on that race? Uh, well, I have that in my opinion. It was a very bad race. They were uh, following a good one through uh, other seasons for IndyCar. A lot of good racing, some green flag runs there. And definitely a lot of chaos on the pit road. That is probably one of the bigger things here. Uh... Great pit stop by Red. Also, earlier in the race by Pavel, he basically dominated the early part of the race. But really, there was no guaranteed winner until Red got this beautiful pit stop and was able to pull away from Ash, and that was basically it from there. So, all in all, great race. And you did mention how the pit stops were quite crazy. On that final pit interval, Red and Ashton got together, and Ash, um, Red was able to save it. What What do you think happened there with that incident? Uh, well, I think that, um, definitely that, as, um, if you didn't see it, you should definitely, um, you should definitely, uh, just picture this. Both drivers are battling for the lead. They both come down at the same time. Red comes in a little bit harder than Ash, his front, his front wing or front bumper gets right up a right up a hill, a hole of uh, Ashton's wing, and Ashton literally drags him down to the pit road. So Ashton actually had to get him loose and get him off of him, and then he had to back up into his pit stop. Red kind of just got pushed to his pit box, got a great, great pit stop, and was off and away. Meanwhile, Ash still had to get back up, get his piss up on which wasn't the fastest. It came out over 11 seconds behind him after they were right by each other. So do you think if that incident did not happen on pit road, Ashton did finish a lap down, do you think if that incident didn't happen, the finish might have been a little different? I think it would be. I think it would have been a lot closer for Ashton. I think he would have been a lot closer to him than what he was. Um... And after, basically after that piss off, they just did not put on the right of handling on him. It seemed like his car just fell back and he ended up one lap down after all the, just continued to fall back. So obviously, I don't think Ash would have won, but I do think though that we could have had a closer race. <clears throat> so, do you think that, actually, let's talk about Weehawk here. He finished third. That's one of his best finishes. What is your thoughts on Weehawk and his... Uh, rising in IndyCar. 
with that great finish. Well, I think he's one of the best racers here at the moment here. He definitely know what he definitely knows what he's doing here. And I think he's a huge contender there for this championship. I think he's gonna be one of the four drivers in that championship. Um, really like what 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 I saw out of him. Another good race, never really was up there getting for the lead, but he was a constant P4, P3 of the entire race. Do you think Weehawk might have had a shot at the win if stuff played out differently? And if you do, what stuff had to play out differently in order for him to win? Uh, I think that had to be at least a couple more cautions. I mean, we had a huge three fly run to the end there. So, I mean, I think we should have. I, there was a couple more cautions. I think the, the ending would have been a lot different than what we saw. All right, well, actually, I see that we finished almost went second there, so we have, thanks for your take on that. So, that being said, let's talk to Chris on what his thoughts are on his driver winning. So, Chris, are you happy that your driver won, won the race? Yeah, obviously I'm very happy for the team. Seems like Honda's been doing pretty successful in the area of racing. Um, seems like we've been able to take the weekends in and out. Been doing really well with the practicing and our setups. I think it'll really help us with our chase. Um, not, I'm pretty sure that we'll most likely make it all the way down, but if something bad happens, then we'll probably just have to work on that and get to the next race. But so far, we're just doing so well. Well, let's shift gears here to the truck race. Dar, another hard driver won that race, and it was Dar. They raced at Martinsville, so let's go back to John on what he has to say. He wasn't there, but he can look at the finish. So, John, what was your thoughts on Dar winning, and how do you think he got it done there? Well, um, I watched the race here on TV, and I watched a good part of it. But I think definitely, um, I kind of saw it here from the beginning. A lot of complaining about the pivot, how it is, but it's hard, but you can't really get mm -hmm. the pivot there. It's going to be tight. You're not going to have much room. Uh, pity definitely was interesting to watch. There's a lot of uh, crazy piss stops and everything. And then you also had the drivers, um, what a wrecks. In the truck series, it's not really the top drivers. It's really the drivers that maybe one day will be on the top, along with, you know, your veterans, such as, you know, uh, Star and you know. all But it's a really, a really good race. Um, I think that next time we go to Martinsville, though, it's, it's, um, we're obviously going to have to compare and everything, but all in all, though, the race was very nice. A long race, but still, smart still. The race is going to be going to be very crazy, and that's exactly what we saw. All right, thank you, John. And well, well you, with that being said, I'd also like to ask you, similar to what I asked you in the Indy race, your, um, I mean, Cody Sills' new driver, Trinko, he finished third, and he was up there the majority of the race, and since you're good friends with Cody, I'd like to ask you, do you think stuff could have played out for differently for Train Cody to possibly take home the checkers at Martinsville? Well, Train Cody here has been racing for a long time. He's an older friend here at Cody's. Yeah, he used to race back in the Lowe's days of trucks, I mean, of robots. So, obviously, he has a lot of experience here. He was one of the best drivers in Lowe's. Definitely, uh, a, I guess, a technical young talent here in this series. But definitely, no no uh, newcomer when it comes to racing. Definitely uh, showed what he can do. And just his first start alone in a race, he started in a 13 driver to finish third and was up there. Um, did lead a couple laps even. But um, still, all in all, I think it was a, a good pickup from, for Cody Racing. And I think there's going to be a lot to come. All right, well, we're going to have to go to a break here, and we'll be back right after this to talk a little bit more about the truck race at Martinsville.